When I retired, the first two years, I was downhearted. I had no place to go, nothing to do. Then I gave myself a good going over. Joe, I said, you can't sit at home like that. Waste your time. You gotta get out, do things. Well, the day goes pretty fast for me now. I don't daydream at all. I just think of something and I forget it. <laughs> that daydreaming, it don't do you no good. Keep busy, keep moving. That's the trick. You wake at 10, fold up the bed. You don't want to leave your couch open all day, you know? It's depressing. <laughs> you cook an egg, you toast your bread, you cook for yourself, you save a bundle. If you don't keep track of your money, who will? You think about the day ahead, you don't go feeling sorry for yourself. It's like I said, you can sit home and be mad at the world. You can get out and do things. You take a walk, you meet a chum. This one guy lives down by National Biscuit. Boy, you should see the nice aroma. You shoot the bull, you argue some. And maybe he calls up a couple other fellas to come over and play some poker. You lose at gin until they come. This guy remembers what cards you picked up. The dirty bum. But even getting beat at gin sure beats doing nothing. You take a bus, you take a train, you go visit your wife's grave. On the way, you read the Reader's Digest. It does you good to use your brain. Or maybe you go out and see your cousin. You bring a six pack. You take a stroll down memory lane. When we were young, we was always together and raising cane. We go back a long ways, him and me. All the times we had. I remember once, back in 62, we were at this fair with these girls we knew on this crazy ride where you screamed or you prayed. The Big Dipper, they called it. We could hardly walk as we left the car, so we staggered down for a candy bar. Then we sat and laughed in the penny arcade.